Hey guys, Zarms here, here with another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the latest and greatest, well I wouldn't say greatest, but the latest cobblestone generator that I have recently came up with about a couple days ago. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'll go ahead and show you a little later. <laughs> Starting off, what you need. I made this especially for you, the viewer. Alright, so you're going to need about at least 12 redstone dust and some glass, lava, water, and 14 blocks of filler blocks. Filler being something that doesn't respond to fire, lava, or water, and it can still be used with redstone. Great example, cobblestone itself. Great filler block. Anyway, um, also two pieces of glass. Mandatory stuff. Now, with the redstone dust, you're going to have to transform all that into one lever, two pistons, two repeaters, and one redstone torch and you're going to be left with two more redstone dusts which will uh, be used during the construction. So what is the difference between the last one and this one? Well this one actually is now in a 3x3 three three area and uh, you know same height and all that stuff but same functionality flip the switch. It is kind of loud I think it's a little more louder than uh, the last one I made so, so yeah, it's pretty cool though. Same speed of build is what I, I, I'm i seeing. Um, and yeah, let's see. Also, I could show you this. This is my little dummy model, my presentation here. Version 7 is what I call it because I actually worked through. Since that one last version, I worked through this version, which I was gloating about at some point in time on YouTube. I made a post. And I was like, oh, look at I made a personal thing. Anyway, that didn't work out too well. I saw a huge flaw, so I built this one. Thought it was too tall, and so I built this one. So, I can tell you that this is in a 3x3 three three area. Here are the dimensions, actually. 3x3, three three, and it's 4 blocks tall. Even though you could have easily counted that since I showed you the thing. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Version 7 for me and it shall be version 4 when I release it on YouTube, such as the video you're watching right now. Pretty cool, right? Um, so let's see. Uh, here's the maximum height, in case you're interested on how high these pitch, uh, pistons can push all this uh, cobblestone. That's the maximum height. It doesn't go any higher you, unless you get more pistons do this weird zigzaggy thing, but that is freaking useless. Um, here is four floating blocks. Um, definitely awesome. Just kidding. Anyway, it's pretty cool actually because those four blocks are very unique in the form of uh, they actually limit how high the actual generator generates. See, it completely stops generating once it hits any of these four types of blocks here. You got the furnace, you got the note block, uh, I believe actually that's the jukebox, um, that's the chest, and there's some um, obsidian. It also works with uh, the the admin the admin block, um, what is it bedrock, and um, and the other thing the monster spawner. But these are the ones that you can actually get legitimately in the game. So I'm using that in this example. Um, let's see. So yeah, what's so significant about this one than the previous one? Well, like I said, it's in a smaller, more confined area. But a huge weakness I saw about. Uh, about say this version that I was showing you in my version 3 video is that even though it's great it generates four blocks and goes up at a steady rate and all that stuff um, it's more built for like multiple people you know friends stuff like that you know when I was playing I always found myself only just working on you know two ends here and occasionally getting bored of the same two ends so I moved to these two ends over here but I realized even with this small size if I were to put it in a very small enclosed area that there's no way I could really get around and get the, that fourth block or anything like that. So I constructed a, here's my little <laughs> example cave that I tore out of somewhere. Anyway, so pretty much it works like this, or this is my idea of how it could be used. Um, you could create your own. You're not really, <laughs> you're not really restricted to this kind of style, this kind of placement. Yeah, you pretty much just generate it, you know, have your little fun, walk away, come back, or you could just start mining it. It actually generates at a very steady rate, so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, now let's see, 
before I actually start the tutorial, um, <laughs> last video I did a history lesson. I'm not going to go through that again, but I can show you that I did a lot of stuff. And also I made a second floor here to explain, uh, to break down this version right here so that you got a better understanding um, before we build actually. So this is the clock actually. This is the back end and the front end is where the cobblestone generates over here. So you can see all of them are facing that way according to my little map. Top end, the cover, front end, all that stuff. And okay, so this is the clock. It's most stable and you gotta listen to me on this one. Um, hang on a second, what is this? Um, it was like toggle downfall, right? Ah, I can't spell. Thank you, Rin. You just ruined my video. Uh, we'll just wait for it to go away. <laughs> Do you like my logo? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> just killing time. Uh, so this is a clock. It's most stable at the forward setting of its repeater. Um, so keep it that way when you build it. Uh, there's the power switch over here. It's kind of powering this block over here, which uh, kind, of, kind of just keeps the, uh, the whole clock in an on state. So it doesn't really switch off or anything like that, or it doesn't cycle. Um, but yeah, uh, this will disable the clock when the, flip, uh, when the switch is flipped on. So you can't really change this with a uh, pressure plate, because that will just stop the contraption. And as much fun as that would be to just sit on the thing all day, <laughs> it's really not. Um, let's see, you got the piston one over here, piston two, glass blocks, uh, they have their own special use. You will actually have to witness its use um, when we construct it. Uh, this over here, this repeater, this single repeater is the stabilizer. I noticed there's some sort of quirk with the redstone when facing uh, the direction of the cobblestone generator. So I kind of lined it out over here. If <laughs> Also, uh, I kind of marked on my ground over here, which way is north. And if you don't know which way is north, you kind of have to find the sun. Sun always sets in the west. So north, south, east, west. West that way. Anyway, <laughs> that got confusing very fast. So depending on which way it's facing, front end is the facing direction. Uh, depends on what state you should put the, the repeater in. There's no 0 out of 4 here. If you wanted a 0 out of 4 on a repeater, you get that little peg right there on the little slider, and you just take that right off. Just tear it right off. So it doesn't exist. So <laughs> 0 out of 4 it doesn't exist. So you're either going to be putting a 1 out of 4 or 2 out of 4. Not 3 out of 4, not 4 out of 4, just those two. And kind of just follow this map. Um, you can always come back to this part of the video. I'm just kind of staying here to talk about it. And now we're over it. Okay, so stabilizers. It re regulates the predict uh, predictability. Uh, pretty much, um, if you don't have the stabilizer correct on the correct position, and you face a uh, your cobblestone generator in the wrong direction, you're going to get like I don't know. It's going to generate cobblestone like regular, but it's going to be in a very odd order. So you really won't know what how it's going to generate. Um, I don't think it generates any faster. If anything, it might generate slower. If you want to play with it, you can, but this is the most stable I found. If you want it to be mimicking exactly how I have it functioning right down there. This block over here is the power distributor. Uh, passes the current to the pistons over here. This is the generator core, the part that generates the cobblestone in the generator. And here's the top end, the cover. And uh, yeah all that fun stuff. <laughs> okay, so looks like you got enough out of that. So let's go ahead and make this cobblestone generator. You're going to need a hole that is three by three and it goes four blocks down. We're not going to dig any deeper, just need four blocks down. You can go ahead and start by putting the pistons down on the side that you want the, the generator to face do that and then you go to your filler block and you just set them down over here. Now for the purposes of this video I'm using the steel block just so you can calculate how many whatever I'm using as well as I'm using this block for the purposes of just being able to count for the viewer. Okay, get the two glass blocks and you put them down there. 
and then you get your redstone repeater you set it over here and uh, let's see I believe since we're facing what is it east we just need to put it on the second setting if I do remember east two out of four great back in the hole we go all right once you've done that um, you're doing good so far get your redstone torch place it on the side of the block right there get a redstone dust and just dab it right there and then pretty much just start covering stuff this uh, you don't need anything there but just make sure you have this little arrow lined out here now go ahead and we're going to begin with the water here <laughs> now see this is what's unusual about this compared to my other designs uh, we're actually going to put the water down first over here I mean that's not unusual but we're actually going to have the lava like flow down and hit the water and do the generating rather than the water hitting the lava I don't know I, now that I think about it I'm not making sense right now so <laughs> ignore what I said I'm talking bogus so we're going to cover the water source and we're going to get our redstone repeater we're going to set it to the four setting as quickly as possible go ahead and put down lock cover that go ahead and put the switch down should work perfectly all right almost done here now you just get your lava block over here or your lava bucket and you just place it right here in this dab make sure it goes down all the way like you won't see it right now but you just give it like a couple seconds or a second I'd say a couple seconds because you guys don't know how to count sometimes I've actually dealt with it I've been in the call center environment a lot of people don't know what a second actually is so give it time and then come out of here and uh, just cover up generator very simple right now I know I just used more uh, block stem I counted here uh, when I showed you what you need so you really don't need blocks on top of these uh, holes over here and once you're done just flip the switch and voila you have yourself a working cobblestone generator pretty awesome you can show your friends uh, or not I mean this really is just a very compact form something for just a single person's use or two people I guess but it's really so I guess with two people I mean I'd rather have two pillars and just keep on working on both of them um, not really for AFK but hey gets the job done and it's definitely more advanced than what's out there and look at the size I mean for this kind of technology look at the size what I came from let's see what was it <laughs> this one over here this is the first version that still works I am right now I'm using what is it the latest release that has the bats and the witches and I don't know all that fun stuff I, I don't know all the updates just yet I haven't gone around to actually exploring it but I am going to test out my generator with the latest res, uh, release as of today and today is October the 13th it still works guys don't know how to work it that's your own problem not mine it still works and it still works for many quit trying to blame me for your failures damn it all right so <laughs> I really have nothing else left to say I mean that's pretty much it um, I already answered frequently asked questions in the version 3 video if you haven't seen it go ahead and see it and if you don't want to um, alrighty I would still say you should see it but anyway so uh, yeah that's that's my generator <laughs> nothing left to say so Zyram Syrup signing out hope you enjoyed the video